Hey guys, welcome back to What a Legend. We're getting closer and closer to the end of this update. Once we finish this, we'll be able to start a whole new game. Yay! Well, not a whole new game, but check out somebody else's update and work our way toward new games. Uh, people have asked when I'm getting back to the letter. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep it on this channel or do it as a live stream. Let Suka take it over and go do it on the second channel. So it's up to you guys. Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget, by the way, for those that have been hoping, I'll continue Summertime Saga. That is still a Patreon goal. And you can also hit the membership button here on YouTube. And then in your comments, you get to use lots of fun little emojis and things. Heck, we're trying to hit partner on, on Twitch for emojis. I want to do, like, animated emojis. Those would be really cool. So let's just double check really quick. That one's at dusk. This one's at night, so... Let's get the night one done with. Riverside, was it? No, it wasn't Riverside. Where was it? There. Mudbank. Brave of you to show up. Look, I don't really want to do this. Chicken and out? I like you a lot, Holly. Not as a fiancé, but more as just a friend. Is that why you helped me, you pig? Do you think you're the first guy who ever watched, wanted to touch me? What? No, I swear I didn't help you for sex. I didn't like them being unfair to you is all. I don't deny that you're gorgeous, Holly, and have rare moments of sweetness. Rare, but great. Bitch. But that's not why I wanted to beat your ass, either. I challenge you because you're too damn cocky, even after all the shit we did recently, and that's really annoying. Maybe I have been too harsh on him? He's gonna say something to fuck it up. She didn't say anything else, and just went to the ring and waited for me to join her. Okay, let's not get distracted again. Focus on the target. Now. She wasn't expecting me to go for her feet like that. And was caught off guard by my abrupt, absolute, ing ing that word. Ab whatever. What are you doing? What the fuck, Anon? You could have just tickled. Please work, please work. Oh? I think it's, it is working. This is weird. It took her less than a second to lose her balance. Oh, so much milk. Well, I'd been holding it for a long time, okay? So this is sex? Sort of. Could be better. Much better. Holly was acting weird. She grabbed my hand. Come. Uh, what are you doing? And brought me to the well. Jump inside the well, Anon. But get your ass in there. Do you want me to throw you down? Okay. Oh, what are we doing here? Nothing. She picked up a rock and started to etch something on the wall. What are you doing? Or what are you drawing? There. Done. Aww, that's sweet. She had written our names next to that of her grandparents. Wow. I'm never going to marry any I'm never going to marry anyone, Anon. But this engagement shit is nothing other than a cover for the idiots in the village. Yeah, I know. I don't care what the fuck you do or who else you have s you sex up, but you're all right. You too. And you're mine. The sex was right, all right, too. You're incredibly sexy, Holly. Pig.
She gave me another unreal kiss. And before I could say anything else, climbed out of the well. Holly? Eh, oh well. I think she said she's in love with me. Well, no wonder. Thanks to me, she doesn't have to choose between marrying Waldo or leaving her home. Plus, I totally kicked her overconfident ass in mud wrestling. Holly and Anon. It's so cute of her. But still, I'm glad I don't have to marry her, even though I like her a lot. Anyway, I think that is much as I can hope for for now. But I'm sure I can take things a lot further next time. That's all there is for Holly. We're working hard on additional content. If you enjoy it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's climb up. So that should be it for that. So we'll go ahead and go. Somebody said that's actually based off of a famous painting, which is cool. All right, so... Okay, go this way. Dusk. Hey, Myrtle. Hello, Anon. So, what do you want to talk about? Come on, come here at dusk, okay? I need to finish my house chores first. Okay. So, how come the big bad wolf started attacking your house? Did he just show up one night? I, I don't know. When Jack was working in the forest, I would sometimes take his lunch to him. And one day I noticed a shadowy figure following me. Was it the wolf? It was. I saw him and ran back home. What happened next? Nothing. I didn't see him again until a few months ago, when he came and tried to push the door open. He is dangerous, but only if I'm outside. Which is why I'm going to stay here Stay right here, in the safety of my house. Alright, fair enough. Hello? Hey. <laughs> the, the painting in the background. I saw the door was open and helped myself in. Don't hit me this time. Don't worry, I'll be careful not to knock you out again. By the way, how's your head? It's fine, no pain at all. You look great, by the way. Oh, thanks. You, uh, you too. So, what did you want to talk about? How about this? Would you like to lodge, would you like to lodge in my house in exchange for a few coins in a, a week? Lodge here? Together with you? I can only offer you my living room carpet, but this place is much safer than the tent. Um, it's not, it's not bad, but I wish I could just sleep upstairs on a proper bed with her. Think about it while I go and bring a few logs for the hearth. I must do I must do that before it gets dark, okay? So what should I do? No side quest, thank you. F you. We're doing it. Hang around with Myrtle and the s m hang around with Myrtle in the same house. And perhaps bumping into her wearing sexy outfits or even doing naughty things. Why is there even an option to choose something else? Of course I'll accept it. Grr. Go away! Myrtle? Oh fuck. Grr. Man, that's a mean wolf. Anon? Help! Don't worry, I'll do something. But what? Okay, sweet. At least this isn't timed. I got a big metal bucket and hurled it at the wolf. It hit him square on the nose as he was pouncing on Myrtle. And it got stuck around his face, causing him to run away and into the forest in fear and shock. And on. It's over, Myrtle. But come, let's go inside. Uh, okay. You didn't get hurt, did you? 
No, thank, thanks, thanks for saving me, Anon. I would have, be, I would have been dead if you weren't there. Hey, no problem. It's over. I was so frightened. There, there. You're safe now. No, I'm not safe. I, I need to go up to my room. Wolves, wolves can't climb ladders. Okay, can I do anything for you? No, but please stay in the house. It's safer than the tent. Yeah, okay, I accept your offer. No, no offers. I'm not going to ask for money when there's a hungry wolf out there. Just stay here, okay? I don't want you to, you know. Only promise me to shut the door behind you if you ever go out. Will you do that? Sure, I'll be careful. Okay. Is this what happened to Jack? Did a wolf attack him like this? Don't think about those things, Myrtle. I mean, what's the point of it? I, I'm sorry, I need to be alone. Poor girl. She's terrified, but still worries about my safety as well. That fucking wolf almost got her. It wasn't even dark yet when he attacked. I should talk to Myrtle tomorrow and see if we can do something to ward him off. Wolf's Bane, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Oh, nice little, nice little upstairs. That might be Wolf's Bane. Nice room. And a comfy looking bed, too. What are you doing here, Anon? Yeah, sorry for not knocking before entering. I forgot. Anyway. I came here to see what we could talk, what we, that we could talk and plan something for that wolf, and, are you okay, Myrtle? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just, I haven't slept much since the wolf incident. Every time I close my eyes, I see the wolf towering on top of me, baring his huge teeth, and killing me. Fuck! I don't blame her. I'm going mad, Anon. I don't know what to do. Relax. Nobody's going to kill you, okay? I won't let that happen. It's my fault. It's my fate, Anon. I le I'm left alone in the middle of the woods, surrounded by wolves, and... And I bet everybody's right, and there's wolves, and the wolves have killed Jack as well. Okay, that's enough. You're stronger than this. Plus, you're not alone now, you have me. I know it's not nighttime yet, but try to get some rest, okay? I could stay here with you as you fall asleep. Or we could go downstairs and you could try the carpet, like the other night. No. I'm sorry, Anon. I know it's stupid, but I don't feel safe leaving this room. And I can't sleep now. I just can't. Okay, fine. Stay up here and do whatever makes you feel safe. I'll take care of this problem, I promise you. That wolf's days are numbered. Anon? What do you mean? I hope he doesn't put his life in danger because of me. What, what do I do if something terrible happens to him too? Myrtle's terrori terrorized by the wolf. I'm her only hope. Let's think and come up with a solution. Da -na 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 -na. Myrtle's being terrorized by a big bad wolf. What can I do about it? Wolfologist? I don't know much about wolves, to be honest. But I bet Junior does. He's always hunting in the forest. Let's go ask him for some expert advice. Hmm, okay. Hey. Hey, man. You know the other day when we saw, when you saw me coming out of the woodcutter's hut? After you had had sex with Jack's wife? No, wait, what? No, it's not like that. I don't judge, man. Right, anyway. The night before that, a wolf, a wolf attacked the hut and tried to enter the house. And later again, the same wolf came after Myrtle, and this time almost got her. A wolf? In that part of the wood? 
That's pretty far from where the pack is. It must be a lone wolf. And does it come around often? Every night after the after dark, according to Myrtle. But perhaps earlier in the day as well, since it was around dusk when he came last time. Looks like you've got competition, Anon. The wolf, too, seems to be into curvy f blondes. This is serious, man. Myrtle's scared out of her wits. She hasn't slept since the attack. So I've come for to your to you, I've come to you for advice. If you got any, and getting rid of how to get rid of the wolf. I've got a better idea. You go and help your girl sleep and leave the beast to me. I'll come to the hut at night and take care of her little wolfy problem. Wow, that'd be awesome, man. But how do I help her sleep? Well, you can always give her a bone berries. Damn, you're right. I know where to find some. Nah, forget bone berries. It was a joke. I've got a more fun solution in my bag. Here, take a look. That's a lot of herbs. Wow. Neat. This is my bag. This bag's my baby. I love these herbs more than my own family. But I'll be happy to share them with you. Cheers. And are these good for sleepiness? One of them is. Which one? I'll let you guess. Let's see. Huh. That one would be fire. The color, this colorful one? Blowweed? Do you want blowweed? I don't know. Will it make you drowsy? Nah, but it'll make you blow your mind. Nah, maybe later. But the white and yellow flowers. You got it. Hentia. Oh, come on. No, Hentia. Uh, does it have anything to do with, with, the, with chicken? No idea. I buy it from the traveling salesman. So, how do I prepare it? Easy. Get a kettle full of hot water. Drop the tea leaves in and the flowers inside. Give it one or two seconds and then drink it like any old tea. Sweet. Oh, and I would give it, I would give it to the girl at night. That way, she'll have a full night's sleep. I'll do that. Thank you so much, man. Have fun with the tea. Jack and I, we were never friends. He used to scare off the game with his wood cutting. But it's not nice that his wife is having a rough time. Yeah, I'll take good care of her. Cool. I'll be there at night and kill the wolf for you. Cheers, man. You're a lifesaver. Junior said I should make some tea at night. I saw a pot in Myrtle's living room. I can use it instead of a kettle. Okay. Lucky this pot had already got some water in it. And it's hot, judging by the look of it. Let's drop the leaves in and see what happens. Junior said I should give it a few seconds. Okay, that was quick. I like the color. It looks like grape juice. We're going all out with this joke, aren't we? Wait, are those flowers smiling? Weird. I'll just get a mug from here and... Take it up to Myrtle. Here they- hey there, beautiful. Uh, hey, did you call me beautiful? Sure. Anyway, brought you some tea. Thanks, but I don't feel like having tea right now. Oh, this is not regular cup of tea. This is medicinal. It'll help you sleep. But what if the wolf comes as I'm sleeping and- And what? Look, I've taken care of the wolf already. You have? Yep. One of my friends is going to come here tonight and get rid of it. But let's not talk about the wolf. Listen, I'm going to be here tonight, and I won't let anything bad happen to you. Oh, Anon, why are you helping me? Well, because I want you to be happy. And that's why I made the tea for you. Have it and enjoy the sweet and interrupted sleep. Trust me, everything will be all right. It's very kind of you, Anon, doing this for me. Karen. 
You just take a big sip of the tea and lie down. Leave the wolf to me. It's tasty. And I feel different already. I won't lie down. Well, lie down if you feel drowsy. I, uh, what the fuck is going on? What's happening? I said, what's happening? The fucking music. The fucking music. What, what's wrong? Oh no. I'm hearing things. And everything's changing. I'm going mad. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, and on, and on. You look different. I look different. Everything looks different. Uh, everything looks the same, the same to me. The drugs kicked in hard. Oh, and on. You become so, so attractive. You're radiating with, you radiate with sexual power. Even more than before. Eh. I love you, Anon. Oh. I don't know why, but I can't stop saying these things. I have to confess something to you, Anon. I had feelings for you ever since I met you. And I became so aroused when I saw your big log in the morning. You saw my what? Your super strong log, your penis. Wait, what? What the fuck was in that tea? <laughs> Got a thumbnail. I don't know, but I love it. Oh, I want to kiss you, Anon. Don't do it, Anon. You're the man I need. Devs are weird. Come on, Anna. I want you to make love to me. To you drop your dress on the floor and just like that and lay it on the bed. The music is killing me. I know I'm married and shouldn't do this. But for some reason, I don't care. Ah. Holy shit. We're going all in. I wanted to have sex with you too, Myrtle. You're so pretty and sweet. Oh my god, he's going full fucking Japanese visual novel protagonist. And Myrtle? Not now, Anon. Later. Now I'm sleepy. But the lovemaking! Myrtle? Myrtle? I don't believe it. Fuck. Well, couldn't have done it now anyway. She's obviously drugged. But fuck, man. At least I hope she meant what she said when she said she liked me and that I made her feel horny. There's hope at least. Anon? It's Junior. Good night, Myrtle. It'd be a crime to cover up those beauties. Yoo-hoo! Coming. I left Myrtle naked and drugged, but finally asleep when ba and went back down to talk to Junior. That was the weirdest segment we've ever had in this game. And on? Junior, what the hell was in that tea? Nothing, man. Just hunts ya. <laughs> I'm saying it like that to piss people off now. I made it as you said and gave it to Myrtle. But she started saying weird things and... Did she get naked and run around the house? That's what I always do. My sister Droid doesn't let me like me to drink it. But the sleep you get for after it is amazing. So you knew she'd get all horny? Sure. I was doing you a favor. I hope you hadn't knocked her up. No, man. I didn't actually do it. Well, she was drugged, right? That's my man. I don't want to be test. I don't. I don't want to be tested like that. So anyway, 
Did you hunt the wolf? No, I've been waiting here for some time, but no sign of it. It must have sensed danger. Damn, I told Myrtle I'd already taken care of it. I'm sorry, ma'am, but there's no point in me being here any longer. My Laura's waiting for me at home. She likes to have sex before going to bed. Uh, of course. Thanks for coming and trying, man. No problem. If you need anything else, just come and find me, okay? Will do. I don't think the wolf will show up tonight. But let's not risk it and go inside. Angry wolf. Arr. Arr. Okay, now. Arr. You son of a fuck. Fuck. That was close. Arr. Shut up, you fucking animal, or, I'll let, or you'll wake Myrtle up. Thank goodness she's too drugged to wake up. That's going to get me in trouble. You wait, I'll do with you myself. Tomorrow, though, I'm too fucking tired tonight. I don't trust this thing. That was weird. Good morning, Anon. Oh, hello. You're downstairs. Of course I am. And it is, and it's thanks to you. I was being stupid not sleeping or leaving my bedroom. I feel much better now. Great. I got a bit worried about you after you drank that tea. Is he, is he touching my bum? Myrtle? That was an accident, I'm sure. What's up? Nothing. Yeah, the tea, it was super. But I had so many strange dreams and in different languages, if you believe that. Then I looked different and you looked different and then I... Wait. Why did you say we, you got worried? Well, you know. That, that wasn't a dream, was it? Did I kiss you, undress, and ask you to come and... Don't worry, Myrtle, nothing happened. I mean, yeah, we kissed, and then you got naked and asked me to have sex with you, but we had sex. No, 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 you fell asleep before we, before we had gone that far, and I just covered you with my blanket and came downstairs. You stupid, stupid girl. But he came downstairs. Oh, he's such, he's so gallant. Time to change the subject. So, now everything's back to normal, right? I'll be eating and sleeping, but we can't ignore that there's still a wolf out there, Anon. I remember now you said you were going to do something about it. Yeah, I had a plan, but it didn't succeed. It's okay, Anon. You've already helped me. I've been thinking about it a lot this morning, and I've decided to never leave this house again. Inside is safe, outside is not, and I have plenty of food. But come on, Myrtle. Why not help me get rid of the wolf instead? Get rid of it? Yeah, my friend came here to kill it, but the wolf didn't show up. So I'm going to do something about it myself. And you can help me if you want. No, you mustn't do that either, Anon. It's, it's too dangerous. Perhaps, but it's better than barricading yourself inside and living in constant fear of death. Look, you don't have to do it if you, don't, if you think you can't. I'm really sorry, Anon, but I'm afraid, okay? That's fine. I'll do it myself. Thanks for understanding. I wish I wish I was braver, but... Anon, your hand's on my bum. It ain't moving. Sorry. I was just hugging you. I love being hugged, but I mustn't let him do, the, do it like that. That's okay. Anyway... I'll be in the house if you need me. This is getting ridiculous. I was hoping that a good night's sleep would bring her to her senses, but no. There's a fucking wolf out there wanting to kill her. I don't blame her. Instead, she's come up with a crazy plan. I have to think. You know what? We're going to leave it here for now. And I'll see you guys next time for more of this awesome game. Don't forget to check out my second channel and my Twitch. Help me get to partner. Be amazing. Thank you guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Good night.